Nikki here and we are here for our second update for Cupid's Bow, our 14 by Valentine's Day project pan update. So uh, yeah, so I had, I actually had 15 products for this because the way that me and my husband did this, uh, me and my counting didn't quite count right, uh, my fault completely. Um, so in this one we have uh, so on this one I have four empties on this update. So the first empty is my Batiste 2-in-1 dry shampoo and conditioner. It is all gone. Um, I've realised now I don't use dry conditioner. I just don't. Uh, not dry conditioner, dry shampoo. It's just not something um, that I use in my lifestyle. Um, you know, when I don't wash my hair every day, but when I don't wash it, I just throw it back in a ponytail. So, you know, um, yeah, I just, I don't use dry shampoo, so I'm going to stop purchasing it. I do have uh, one more dry shampoo in my collection, so it's not something that I have a lot of anyway. Um, but I'm just no longer going to purchase dry shampoo. It's, it's not worth it for me. So that is all gone. The next item I have as an empty is my Body Shop Vanilla Pumpkin Hand Cream. This I do use. This I use an awful lot. I use hand creams every day, every single day. Um, this smells delicious. It is their autumn. Oh, I miss that smell. It is their autumn sort of scent. It was they brought it out in back in 2017, and it was so popular that they brought it back this year in 2018. And yeah, I have a backup of this. I love this scent. Um, I have some body butters in this scent as well. I absolutely love the vanilla pumpkin scent from Body Shop, but miss it. But it is all gone. The next item I used was a hair mask. This is the Seventh Heaven Coconut Protein Mask. Uh, boost volume for weak, dry or fine hair. It was a single use mask, which was why I didn't mind that there was 15 items in here because I knew this was a single use item. Um, I did enjoy using this actually. Um, I used it in the shower, so I put it on. Um, I washed my wash my hair with shampoo and then I applied this and then I, I put my hair up into a shower cap very sexy very sexy um and yeah so left it on for about five minutes or so while I washed the rest of my body and uh did a bit of singing in the shower because you know that's a must and then rinsed it off and I did find that my hair that day felt so nice and so soft it was absolutely beautiful however after the second or third day that feeling kind of went away so this is something I think you're gonna have to keep using in order to to get that constant feeling of softness and, and everything which is it's fine they're not expensive so they're about 79 pence a packet so it's something that you can sort of throw in your shopping basket you know and do once a week and your hair will feel nice once a week so yeah or if you're going out for a night or something and you want really nice hair obviously um i would probably use this and then my hair will be all nice and soft for my night out so yes i do have some more of these and i'll probably save them for when i'm going out and the next empty i have is this it is my banana scented lip balm there's a monkey on the front and i am so chuffed with myself for getting to the bottom of a lip balm tin because this has never happened in my life um i have never ever got to the bottom of one of these tins um i've had many on the go um but never actually finished one so i'm quite proud of myself 
little pat on the back for me for finishing a full lip balm tin well it wasn't full when I put it in the project it was almost done but yeah it was full when I bought it so I have used this up completely so that is that so going from empties to untouched can you guess what it is yet I don't know what it is. It's my aversion to feet. I blame you on my aversion to feet. Now, I know a lot of people have suggested that I use this on other body parts, um, but my feet do need this. That's the problem. I do have very dry feet. Um, I don't like talking about feet, um, but I do need this on my feet. I just, I just, I just need to get it on my feet. Um, it's still sealed. <laughs> This is why it's not been touched since I brought it back off our honeymoon in November 2017. Um, it's still not been touched after, what, two, three months of being in this project. I need to do this. <sighs> right, hold me accountable, guys. This has to be used at least once um, by the next update. So, yes. Something that has been used a lot is my Body Shop Frosted Berries Body Butter. So as you can see, we are like halfway. So I love this. It smells like um, strawberries and raspberries and blueberries and all mixed in together, hence the Frosted Berries bit. Um, but it's so gorgeous and I've been putting this like on my body right before bed because then I'm getting that scent as I'm lying in bed and it keeps me calm and uh, soothes me and, and quietens my mind a little um, when I'm trying to get to sleep. The next item I have is my Marc Jacobs nail polish and I did use this this month. I used it in a bit of a Christmassy nail polish um, decoration on my nails um, I did um, a red white and green kind of uh, nail look um, so I didn't use this on every nail but I used this on at least two nails on each hand so it got the majority of the use um, so yeah I was quite pleased with this really like it um, the formula is better than I remembered it to be um, I, th I don't I think it's just one of those that you kind of have to put two to three layers on and then you've got a decent uh, coverage um, but yeah it's it's not the best formula I've had but it, it's a beautiful color so I've had that one the next three items are my lipsticks um, I have not used the Milani uh, liquid lipstick in um, in loved um, it's just not something I've been drawn to unfortunately the Burt's Bees Napa Vineyard I think I used it once and again it kind of I need a lip liner with this because um, it does kind of smudge and bleed um, and moves about on my face so I have to be very careful when I use that one um, and my little tings Colourpop um, I don't know if you can see it, how it's disappearing down inside. I think that's easier for you to see the progress rather than me winding it all up. Um, there's been a lot more progress on this. I do really, really like this colour. Um, it's a beautiful everyday kind of shade that I can wear. So I have been getting more use out of this one. My L'Oreal Infallible Blush Paints uh, in Peach Fling uh, it is this shade here. I have been using this quite often, um, but it's a blush. So you're probably not going to see any dips or anything in that for quite some time. But I have been using it. My Back Talk Palette and the shade WTF so this brown shade here 
again I have used it on a couple of occasions um, but not as much and enough to get a bit of a dint going um, but then again I love this palette I absolutely adore this palette so it's not like I want to start panning it anytime soon my smoky iconic palette from revolution um, oh no my mirror has detached itself well that's no good at least it hasn't broken to be fair um but the shade uh steam i think it is yeah steam um i've not used it uh no i haven't used it this month and that's mainly because uh using a gray is very um like i don't use grays very often and I don't do like, um, I don't do a smoky eye very often, not in with greys anyway. Um, and then the final palette is my Sleek Eye Divine in Vintage Romance. This uh, shade in here I have been using more often because I discovered that it goes really well with another colour that I am using in my panning games project pan so it's this shade here which is married in uh, marion monte carlo there's a bit of a dip going um i don't know if you can see that or not my big finger in the way um there's a bit of a dip going um it's this color is really great with another shade that is in my panning games project pan so I have been um, turning to that more than anything else so yeah really enjoying that so that is my 14 by Valentine's Day my Cupid's bow project pan update I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye